This bottle of ink is 100% made out of leaves. For about a year I've been on this kick of finding natural materials and trying to make paper out of them. So when I saw those fallen leaves in my neighborhood, I knew I had to give paper making a try. Part of the paper making process involves boiling down the leaves and then straining them out. What you're left with is basically a leaf tea, but not that kind of tea, so don't, don't drink it. If you try and save the water right away and you use a plastic dish, it'll just melt away. That's from experience. So use something like a mason jar. After a batch of making leaf paper, I'm left with almost a full jar of this leaf tea. I then transfer it over to this bottle, which has a lid, simply because I could not find a lid to my mason jar, but also because I need to save it because I'm not quite ready to use it. But when I am, I'm gonna pull it back out and we're gonna try and make leaf ink out of it. All right, so it's been more than a few days and I've kept my leaf tea in the fridge. So I'm gonna pull that out. And I had it in there just because, I don't know, I was worried maybe it would spoil, go funky, who knows. But we're gonna pop it open. I'm a little bit weird. I have to give it a smell. I'm gonna give you guys a smell. Yeah, no, it smells fine. Doesn't smell like anything actually. Just surprising. I have this small little tiny glass jar and that's what I'm gonna use to put my ink in when we're all done. And then there's an optional ingredient, which is gum arabic, which I will use, but like I said, it's optional, it's just a thickener. So I'm gonna start off by pouring about a cup into my pot, and then on my mini stove, I'm gonna crank the heat up and bring it to a boil. Pro tip, a disposable chopstick works great for art projects, especially when you gotta mix stuff up. Once it's at a good simmer, I add about a teaspoon or two of my gum arabic and bring the heat back up and mix it some more. And if I feel like it needs to be darker, I just boil it down even further. The more you boil it down, the more condensed and darker the ink will be. And once it's done, I'm gonna bring a funnel out and use that to transfer the finished ink into my little mini glass jar here. And there we have it, 100% leaf ink. Let's put it to the test. This is a drawing I did with store-bought ink way back in college. It's an Albrecht Durer study. I'm gonna use this as kind of my comparison. And the pens I'll be using are these dip pens and maybe even test out a watercolor brush. I'll be using it on watercolor paper. So this is the first time I have ever made ink. It's also the first time in a long time in which I've drawn with ink. So I'm just doing a quick warm up, testing it out, and I'm super happy with the way it works. It's better than expected. But let's put it to the ultimate test. I have this sketch of some moose, which is actually a study of prehistoric artist Jay Matternus. And I'm just gonna dive right in. I have the sketch and I'm going to be using the leaf ink to fill in the outlines and the fur in this drawing. And I do apologize because I don't usually film myself drawing. And as an artist, you never really realize how close your face and eyes and nose get pressed up to the paper. So there's probably gonna be a few times where my head dives in front of the camera. Uh, but I did wanna show you the whole process of completing a drawing with the leaf ink so that you can get an idea of how it works and maybe you can go make your own ink. And if you're curious, I did follow at least somewhat of a recipe that came from the National Park website on how to make your own ink. They give you a recipe on how to use coffee or tea, which you can use. They don't teach you how to use uh, leaves to make ink but 
after this experiment uh, making ink, I have a feeling you can use all sorts of natural materials that if you boil it down and are able to get, you know, a dark liquid from it, you should be able to make ink out of almost anything. Although just be careful what kind of natural materials you boil down. You don't know what kind of chemicals you're going to be boiling down, but leaves and grass and other things should be just fine. And like I said before, it's been a long time since I've drawn with ink. So this is kind of a fun experiment for me. Fun kind of uh, practice. And I guess I'll describe the way the ink feels a little bit. Uh, it actually feels exactly how I remember drawing with black ink in school, in college. The ink sits on the paper really nicely. It flows really nicely out of the pen. I did not have any issues with smearing, and I haven't had any issues since drawing with it of any fading. So you can make free ink out of leaves if you don't mind being a little weird and collecting leaves outside uh, your neighborhood or in your city and people watching you pick up leaves and put them in a bag. Just tell them you're uh, making ink for free. And here's the finished uh, sketch, the finished drawing of these moose. And yeah, I, I still uh, am happy I'm able to draw at least somewhat. And I'm very happy with our 100% leaf ink. Thanks for watching.